There was a band called Rancid. They were wonderful, inspired so many people. And yet, Rancid was garbage. They didn't start like that. They were fantastic. They started as a band called Operation Ivy out of Berkeley, California. Lots of fantastic bands and lots of movements and lots of musical subcultures came out of that area. And we know how all of those ended up, just like every other subculture. either dead, buried, or monopolized. You know, that's how they do. It's been the practice for the past 20, 30 years, you know. Some say it started with Malcolm X, but, you know, I'm getting a little too scuba with it on that. But it did start with John, uh, John Lennon. It really did subculture died that day and any subculture that came after it had a, a ladder a, a bridge ready for it to lead to their death hip hop dead um, alternative remember when they called music alternative dead nirvana dead Tupac, Biggie, dead. How many? Hip-hop culture, dead. What is it now? Crack, kill you, fuck your hoe, fuck your bitch, fuck you, or skinny pants, super queen, bullshit. I don't even know what hip-hop is anymore. Don't want to, because I know it's not hip-hop anymore. It's dead. Dead. Killed. As soon as possible. Every single subculture. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Every single subculture. There's no such thing as subculture anymore. Everything has been acclimated. Monetized. And decimated. Destroyed. There is no character... There's no character, there's no future, it's all just bing bang boom, dead. You're a part of this, or you're a part of nothing. Who's famous anymore? Nobody cares. Nobody even cares who's famous anymore. You know why? Because people are done. Because sub culture is dead there's no reason everybody's pierced everybody's got purple hair everybody is this or that or there's nothing they did a good fucking job didn't they just destroyed it all monetized drained like vampires started with John Lennon. Did you know that? I mean, it, the killings, you know, and the manipulation. I didn't start with John Lennon, of course, but that's when music died. Music died with John Lennon. It really did. And that's not facetiousness and bigness. It really is. That's when they said, you know what? We can't have subcultures no more. We gotta own them. We gotta own them. Give the hippies super fucking LSD and drugs, let's control them. Give hip hop and rap music crack, let's own them. What did they do? Own them. Where's the hippies now? <laughs> Please. Where's hip hop now? <laughs> How are your skinny pants doing? Where is uh, alter... Remember when alternative music was alternative music? Nah, there's no alternative music. It's all garbage. <laughs> there's no alternative anymore. It's all garbage. 
all been placated. Everything. Monetized. Denominalization. Garbage. They did a good job. I watched Punk die. Thanks, Punk. Thanks, Green Day. Rancid got, uh, the Rancid was a good band. They were a cool band. And then that uh, Lars guy came in out of nowhere, the guitarist. Everything changed. No more Operation Ivy. No more Lint. It became pop fucking 50s. Let's try to be Elvis, but punk, weird. Just make music, here's some heroin. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome to the future with nothing. Welcome to 1984. They're ahead of schedule. They crushed punk music. They crushed everything. Tell me one subculture right now. One. That hasn't been monetized. That it doesn't have a uh, article on BuzzFeed. <laughs> Please. You fucking sheep ass motherfuckers. They bled you. We've been bled. There is no subculture. We're dead. There's nothing that is not monetized anymore. And you eat it up. You get your news from Comedy Central. <laughs> and Yahoo and Goose. Fucking dead. I feel so bad for people that never experienced subculture. Because there isn't any. There's none. You're all owned. You're all owned. And bring this up to anyone, and they say, How dare you? You're racist, or you're a fascist, or you're... What? What? <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, man. Happened all under your nose. And I had been screaming it since I spit... I played a show with Blink 182s back in who even knows when, right out of high school, and I spit in their fucking deli tray and stole their tub of beer. Because I saw it happening. And I said, fuck you, Billy Joe from Green Day 2s way back then. 13s and shit. Fucks to you. Because I saw it happening. Tupac dead, go. Nirvana dead, gone. Kurt Cobain, anybody that comes up, gone. Don't you dare speak your mouth. And we all know what's really going on with that shit now, don't we? But at this point, they softened you up so much that you're kind of used to it. You're used to, well, yeah, of course, you know. If you're going to get famous, of course you need to suck a dick and a half or so, you know. That's normal. Or get a, get a fuck a dolphin, or let a dolphin fuck you, or for a part, or whatever. You know who cares? You just want to be famous. You, <laughs> for real. You have been so soft served for so long that none of it matters. Hip hop is has become hot topic of the malls in skinny pants and fucking are you serious they they don't even need crack anymore to sell out hip hop music they do it through fucking propaganda it's easy now easy you have been so subjugated you don't even know you're subjugated and you will fight for your right to be subjugated and be a slave and you don't even know it you will fight for the chains I like my chains I mumble rap you don't even know it and people like me are the enemy the last fucking bastion of freedom and truth that there is left I'm sorry, but Bones fucking justice is still 
here. And I will never forget. And I'm going to make sure you won't either. So, two tears in a bucket. How many? We see you too. Welcome. Get your umbrella. Ella. Murderers. And fucking pedophiles. And fucking. Murder. Murderers. Kurt Cobain. Tupac. Biggie. Nobody cares about. Oh, I wonder what happened to uh, Soundgarden. Hmm. What happened to uh, Lincoln Park guy? Hmm. What happened to Robin Williams? Hmm. They all, yeah, they're they all had a weird thing about jerking off and hanging themselves at the same time. Yeah, that was their thing. Yeah, that's what they died of. Not, not because they knew the people that have been turning up the stove turning up the pot to slow cook you frog ass motherfuckers all this time they don't need crack to sell you out any more hip hop they don't need heroin to uh fuck you up any more alternative music they don't need anything anymore you do it on your own Stare at your phone and die for Dark Side. We're here and we are listening and we watch even deeper than this does. The pendulum swings, my friends, and bones is. Eternal justice be there. Take care. We are here.